Okay, we we'll start by the configuration of uh, this uh, two routers using the physical topology. We access the physical topology. Here we have our home city or the site when we will uh, uh, configure this networks. Normally, I will access to the home city. Here we have a corporate office and normally a building that contain your network. This, uh, for example, the first building that contain this main closet. We can back to add another network. Normally, we have this uh, corporate office in this uh, uh, city and I will add a new building and put it in another city then I will have to connect these two buildings normally I will add a router and a network and the corporate office then another network and the office building okay just click new building uh -huh. and put it in a different uh, place in this uh, city okay now I will access to each office or to each building to add this uh, network for example we start with the corporation office corporate office and I will add here we have uh, the main wearing closet we access to this closet and I need to add a router here we have routers and we need to add the router 1941 this one when put it here should be added to the SRAC okay I need to add the switch this uh, switches we select uh, the switch 2960 Okay. We add a computer, we add a laptop, and we add a server. In which part we'll put the server? In the table? Or where? We add a server. Huh? In which part should be put in the server? If I need to put, normally it should be put in the rack. Uh, and we can add a smartphone or an IP phone. We have the iPhone and another table here. We, have, we add another desk. Okay, and we need to add the printer. Now, if we see here, we have uh, my network that contains router, switch, server, computers, IP phone, and uh, print, IP print. Okay. Now we go back to uh, add network devices to the next building. We uh, click and back. And now we go to office 2. We access the office. And this office will add a new closet. We specify a room for this closet. We access to this closet to add network device. We start by adding switch, a router and switch. The same router, 1941. Switch 2960. The server the, and devices we start by the server, for example. We add a computer, a laptop, we add a printer, and an IP phone. For our topology, we need to connect PC0 to the router and the fast ethernet zero zero but here we have uh, not fast ethernet we have uh, gigabit gigabit uh, 
for this reason, we'll connect PC0 to uh, uh, gigabit 00. We use uh, which cable we use to connect uh, the router uh, to the switch? Huh? Which cable we use? Straight through, straight through cable. We use straight through cable from the switch. We click on the switch. We select the gigabit zero one on the switch, and uh, we click on the router and we select gigabit uh, zero zero on the router. Okay. Then we need to connect uh, my computer to the switch. We use uh, the straight through cable from the computer, fast Ethernet zero to the switch, fast Ethernet zero one to connect the laptop. The same, uh, fast Ethernet zero to the switch, and fast Ethernet zero two to connect the IP phone from the IP phone. In the switch port, not in the PC port, in the switch port, then to the switch in the port number three, fast Ethernet zero three, and we have the last end device, the printer. We use the same cable, fast Ethernet to the switch and the fast Ethernet zero five. Which uh, the last uh, devices and device not uh, not connected, already not connected. Yes, yes, we use uh, the switch part. Ah. Yes, the printer zero four. No problem for the number uh, of uh, parts for uh, the end device. Which? Uh, huh? With the switch. Mm. Yes. No problem, zero 01, for example, for PC zero 01, for uh, laptop zero 02, for uh, IP phone zero 03, for printer zero 04. But we have uh, a device, uh, an end device already not connected. Which this device? The router. The router, network device, the router. Connect the server so using the through cable from the server fast Ethernet zero to the switch and the fast Ethernet zero 05. Yes. Now I finish connecting my local network, uh, network and device to the switch, and I connect the switch to the router. I will go to the next building by clicking in back, back, and I go to office building, access to the wiring closet, and here we will connect the same connection. To connect the cable, the switch to the router using the solid through cable from the switch in gigabyte 01 to the router in gigabyte 00. And we use the same cable, straight through cable, to connect and device PC, fast Ethernet 0 to the switch, fast Ethernet 01, laptop, fast Ethernet 0 to the switch, fast Ethernet 02. The IP phone from the switch to the switch and the zero three from the print fast Ethernet zero to the switch fast Ethernet zero four and we finished with the server from fast Ethernet zero and the server to the fast zero five and the switch. Now if I See the, the, topo uh, the logical topology here. This is my logical topology. Ah. You can order this by normally you have uh, the first router, this uh, the second router, this is the first router, and for each router you can move uh, their devices to the appropriate. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Gigabyte zero zero gigabit gigabit not gigabit gigabit zero. Uh -huh. To the uh, we connect the server, huh? Uh, we connect the switch to the router and gigabyte zero zero. Uh. The server, which is the appropriate port to connect the server? Fast Ethernet or gigabit? The appropriate connection for the server because the server need a speed connection 
it's best to connect it to the gigabit uh, port in the switch. So uh, what I do, just I click here on this uh, uh, green light button or LED, and uh, I change the fast ether uh, from fast ether 05 to gigabyte 02. I connect the server to the gigabit uh, ethernet 02, and the topology, the same we do it for the second building. Okay, this is two routers and two networks. Now I need to uh, configure to connect uh, these two routers. Okay, to connect uh, these uh, two distant routers, we need to use uh, one connection, not a uh, 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 local or a local area LAN connection, the whole cross, because some students they use the cross cable to connect between these two routers. This is not an appropriate connection. In real, we use one connection. Which is the connection that we need to use? For the one connection between routers, first of all, router, this is router. Uh, we uh, check the addressing table. Here, we need to take care for the addressing table, router 1 and router 2. There's a, a name uh, for each router, router 1 router 2, PCA, PCB, router 1, router 2, R2, and we have PCA and PCB. To connect these uh, routers, we use uh, the serial cable. For the serial cable, normally we have these two cables. In the simulation, we have this cable, serial DCE, and this cable, serial DTE. Which cable we use? DCE or DTE? Normally, we use DCE, but this related to the topology that you have. For our topology, how to, f how to uh, differentiate between serial DCE and uh, serial DTE. If you see here, we have this. Uh, which is the difference between these two cables, Shabab? This uh, clock. The clock rate exists uh, in the DCE cable. Serial DCE cable contains the clock. For our topology, in which router I will uh, put the clock rate? Normally, for our topology, we have here in the uh, addressing table we have router 2 contains the DCE. For this reason, when we will add this connection, we select any port here. You have this message. This is not the appropriate port. Okay. Normally, when we purchase router, uh, routers, we don't have this serial cards. We need to purchase this card and add it to our router. To do this, we need to access to each router. We access to the router one, then we power off the router, power off the router, and we select this the serial from modules. We have HWIC2T. This represents a Cisco to port serial high speed one interface card. And we plug it in this case. The first Yes, the first one. Uh, and power uh, here. Uh, this we select HWIC. Okay. And we add it to this uh, part. Don't put it in the secondary part because here we will have a uh, uh, different number. You can put it there, but normally for, to have the order from serial 000, serial 001, serial uh, 002. And we power on the router. The same we do it to router 2, power of the router, then we add the serial port and power on. Now, how to connect and to put the DCE in the router 2, we use the serial <coughs> cable and we click on the router 2, we have this serial 000. Or serial 001, we, saw, we select serial 000. And 
we connect it to the router one and serial zero zero one zero 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 okay. yes this uh, the serial cable here we have uh, in which router we have the clock rate a router two and we have this the clock uh, in the side of router two how to add this uh, yes normally and uh, you refer to your addressing table here on our addressing table normally put it in zero zero one yeah so look here zero zero one in our addressing table so we select the appropriate port we go back here and plug the cable and we put it in zero zero one we connect the physical uh, the between two routers through the physical topology we access the physical topology we click back back and we will connect this office with the serial here click in this uh, office in this building we have the wiring closet we select the rack which device i will connect router to which port serial zero zero okay uh huh router serial zero zero and we go to the uh, left uh, office and we select the mail closet rack router one and the serial port zero zero okay uh, zero zero one zero zero one now normally i have this topology that contain two uh, routers I go back to the physical, uh, to the logical topology. Normally, here we have. Uh, same. And uh, the same, yes. But wha uh, what we need to do this because we need to do it in your uh, projects. Okay. The implementation of your uh, networks should be through the physical topology. Now, we have to uh, start the configuration. The first steps to configure this password. Normally, we have to access the router to the privilege mode and start this configuration. We will start by accessing to the router, adding these passwords, which cable we use to connect my PC to the router for this uh, configuration we use the console console cable we use the console cable from PCA RS232 to the router and console port and for the router 2 from the console port of the router to PCB and the RS232 this for the router configuration now we will start by configuring router one we ask from pca desktop terminal okay here would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog we press no and press enter to start the configuration normally we need to, we have the, the uh, uh, user exec mode and we need to access to the configuration mode enable configure terminal first of all we configure the serial this uh, enable secret password enable secret password we use a class like a password for the enable privilege mode host name host name are one we will start by configuring the uh, gigabit interfaces interface gigabit zero zero i will configure this interface i will configure the interface gigabit zero zero I will configure this interface. 
to permit the connection of this network to this router. Which configuration we need here? We need to add the IP address and to uh, change the state from down to up for this interface. The IP address, which IP address? Huh? We refer to the addressing table that exists in my manual lab. Here we have uh, in this table for gigabit. Uh, here we have zero one, but normally zero zero, no problem. Gigabit zero zero. The IP address should be one nine two one six eight zero one, and this uh, the subnet mask. IP address one nine two one six eight. Uh, dot zero dot one space the subnet mask of five two fifty five dot zero no shutdown to activate this interface and if you see here the state of the connection change to a green if you see here the second interface that we have in this router is a Serial 001, I need to configure this interface. The same command, we access to the interface. We put interface serial 00 slash 1 IP address for the serial. Normally, we have this IP address for the serial 001101111. The subnet mask 255, 255, 252, 52. IP address 10.1.1.1. Subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 252. And no shutdown. Normally, this uh, interface should be changed to the uh Now, I will go to router 2 and we access to router 2 from PC B desktop terminal Okay, we put now, then we press enter, enable, configure terminal, host name, R2, I change the name of the router, then I will put the enable secret, password, enable, secret, the same password I will use, class, then I will access the gigabit interface, I will configure this interface gigabit then I will configure the serial 00, zero interface and this router here we have to configure yes interface fast ethernet uh, uh, sorry uh, gigabit ethernet zero, 00 the IP address for this interface 192.168 I refer to the addressing table uh, for router 2 gigabit normally 00 or 
this is the IP address 192.168.1.1 space 2 uh, the subject was 255 255.0 to activate this interface with the command now shut down okay and we configure the serial interface interface serial uh, zero slash zero slash zero the same IP address the IP the IP address for the serial uh, and router uh, two ten one 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 two and this is the subnet mask and normally here for this interface we have to configure the clock rate we have uh, this uh, and this step now we have this commands to configure the center faces for this for the serial For the clock rate for the router, we have here the clock rate, Shabab. The data transfer speed is now set to uh, 64,000. This uh, we need to configure this uh, uh, in the interface uh, DCA interface for our topology and serial 000 in router uh, 2. IP address 10.1.1.2 subnet mask 255 255 255 uh, clock rate 64000 and here we need to activate this interface because it is a down state i will change it to the up state by the, uh, the command now shut down if you see on my topology here we have uh, the red led for this connection because I don't yet activate this interface. I finish by uh, uh, activating the interface serial 001 and router 1, but now I will do it for router 2, and inshallah we will see this green light for this two interface. Now, shut down, and if you see here the state change. Uh, in which router? Uh, okay, I will check this. Normally now, I finish by configuring the interfaces for these two routers. We need to uh, check the uh, connectivity using the ping command between routers and uh, and device for this we will uh, test the connectivity between pca and uh, router one pca and router two pca and uh, pcb for this reason we need to add the ip address for each uh, computer normally we have the addressing table the addressing table contains ip address for each uh, uh, pc look here Shabab. for the PCA, normally we have the IP address 192.168.0.10 and here we have the gateway. This gateway, what represents this gateway? The IP address of the gigabit interface. Yeah, normally the gigabit interface, rep uh, IP address, represents the gateway for this network. We go to PCA. Then we access, we close this uh, terminal window and we access to the IP configuration window. Then we select the static IP address and we put the IP 192.168.0.10 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and here we need to add default gateway 192.168.0.1. The same I will do here. Uh, uh, zero 01 PCA for PCB 
for PCB, the same, we go to IP configuration. The IP address for PCB is 192.168.110 and the default gateway 11. Normally, the gateway for each computer represents the IP address of the interface, the uh, uh, gigabit interface for which uh, this uh, computer is connected or the uh, local network is connected. 192.168.110 and we have the subnet mask, the default gateway. 192.168.11 for uh, for where? 10.1.1.1. This represents the uh, IP address that, uh, for serial ports. Serial ports. Now, if we go back to my interface, and I will test the ping between devices. Please, Shabab, take care for this point. Now I will test the ping between this device. From the last lab, we see when we have devices in the same network, in the same route, and we configure their interfaces, they can ping together. Yeah, devices in the same network or in different networks, but related to the same router with uh, the approach configuration, they can ping. Yeah. For example, I now can ping from PC8 to the route. Why? In the same network, the yeah. unknown, we have this computer. And the, this, uh, the IP address is computer from IP 168.0.10. And this interface yeah, of the, uh, this router is 192.168.0.1. In the same network. If we test the ping normally, we use uh, this uh, simple PDU. From PCA to the router, we have a successful thing. For example, if I add an IP address for this server, for example, go to the server and desktop IP address, and we put an IP address from the same network, 192.168.0.1. For example, 100 then we from the same network because this uh, related to a network uh, uh, and the router one the default gateway 192.168.0.1 and i test the ping between the server and the, the computer pc a i test the ping between pc a and the server normally have a successful application because uh, this uh, computer exists in the same network. I will add a color for this uh, part. This is the first uh, network. And this network uh, its IP address is 
192.168.0.0. Okay. And the subnet mask to uh, 24 slash 24. The same for this network. For router to normally we have PCB with this IP address can ping to this router because they are in the same network. Okay. And the same if we say we add an IP address for this server, for example, from the same network, 192.168.1.100, and the subnet mask, uh, the, the, then the default gateway, 192.168.11. Normally, this server can ping to the computer because they are connected to the same network. Which is the same network? This network is. I will select give a color for this network. This network to which is the IP address of this network. One nine two one six eight one zero slash twenty four. Okay, and between these two routers, we have another network between router one and router two, where we have this uh, console, uh, this serial connection. Here we have another network. If we test the ping between routers, between router one and router two. Well, successful ping. But if I do the ping between PCB, for example, and router 2, fail. Because normally router 1, uh, network uh, PC, uh, PCA, exists in a different network than uh, router 2. The same if we do the ping from PCB to the router one. Router one exists in different network and the router B and we have to access to another uh, network to permit this connectivity. We need to configure the path or the route between these uh, two routes. The thir third network is uh, this network that exists between router 1 and router 2 the IP address for this network with the IP address of this network IP net 10.1.1.0 slash 30 huh, slash 30 because we have the last Byte and the subnet mask to 252. Now I have three networks. Devices in the same network they can uh, connect together, but different networks we need to configure a route or a path to permit this uh, connectivity. And we here, normally after a few uh, minutes, uh, we go back to the, uh, we uh, log out from the uh, console configuration. We need to go back, use the command enable. Here we ask me the password, which password we use here? Class. Class. Now we go to the configuration mode, configuration terminal then here I will configure the root IP IP root before this Shabab I will show the MAC address the routing table 
exit i put exit just i will show ip root what we see here only static normally we will uh, see uh, s uh, that represent this uh, root we start the configure terminal ip root ip root and we will put uh, the ip address of the network that i need to access from router 1 Normally, I need to access to the network 192.168.1.0. The subnet mask of this network 255.255.255.0. And from where I can access? I specify the interface or the IP address. We will specify the IP address for this port, the serial 0. For this part, now I will specify the serial port or the IP address of this uh, port. I will specify the IP address 10.1.1.2. The IP address. Okay. I put exit and I will. Report the uh, command show IP root. You see here, if you need to access to the network 192.168.1.0, go via 10.1.1.2. I go to the next router, router 2, terminal, okay, the password, enable the password. <coughs> class then I will here I don't have always the uh, uh, IP root show IP root just we have the local connection connected uh, networks configure terminal IP root to access to the network 192.168.0.0 the right network the left network sorry when we have PCB a PCA uh, 192.168.0.0 the subnet mask for this network 255.255.255.0 and space we add from where we can access the port or the IP address of this port. The IP address of this port, normally the serial 001 port, we add the IP address 10.1.1.1. Normally now I have the, the possibility of pinging or connectivity between this uh, distant networks router and router A and in router uh, router 1 and router 2. Exit. We can use end, and we show the routing table, we show IP root, sorry. Here we have the static root. Now I will test the thing between PCA and PCB, I delete this scenario, and here I will use the real-time, the simulation mode. To see this pin, we, uh, uh, we uh, use the simple PDU thing from PCA to PCB, and we start the capture. The packs transferred from PCA to the switch. 
Hmm? You will wait to attend PCA to the router from router to router 2 from router 2 to the switch 1 from the switch to PC شوف هنا the packet discarded because not the specific uh, IP address now PCB replay to this request okay router 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 2 router 2 to switch 0 switch 0 to uh, PC normally we have the ping success okay if we test this from for the server for example we add uh, ping between servers server uh, that exists in network uh, 192.168.1.0 to the server in network 192.168.0.0 and start the auto capture Now the packed from router 1 to router 2 and from router 2 to uh, switch and from the switch to the server. Okay, this is our lab how to configure a static route. Or we can use the ping from PCA. We go to uh, command prompt and we put uh, ping 192.168.1.10, the IP address of uh, PCB. We have the replay, successful ping, or to the server 1100. We have this replay. 